Now one of the surefire ways to know that you're a dying church is when you ask the visitors whether it's a welcome card or you ask in person or both. How did you hear about our church? When they tell you that they heard it from a source online, then you have to ask yourself the question, is my church relevant to my community at large or are they only relevant to themselves within the church and is a social club? The church that I currently attend they have a particular paper that is delivered to the elderly, the older folks, and it shows pictures of the people in their community only. Now, this is a gross point in Michigan newspaper. It's a very rich suburb of Detroit. This paper, from what I have seen, represents Gross Point very nicely and only Gross Point. They have magazines for the Gross Point area to which it is a society thing to be seen in the Gross Point magazine. The problem with the newspaper is nobody except the old and those who needed to line their cat container for them to crap on and things like that. Uh, like I use them to line my bird cage so that I can make sure the crap doesn't get out of the plastic and I can pick, take it out and throw it away. So I do like to get newspapers and flyers so I can use that for that purpose. But the current trend is to get things online not to buy a newspaper. Newspapers are a dying breed they give you old news. So when I went into the church they asked me how I found out about them and I told them. I did my research online, I saw a picture on their website that I liked and I thought I'd try them out. And every person that I talked to thereafter that was new, either had they just moved in the neighborhood and they were looking for a church to attend or they had gone online, and the majority of them had gone online and found the church online. Unfortunately, most of the people that attended uh, in the last several years, visitor-wise, came and left. They did not have a church to where there was any children. So those that had children didn't have any kind of uh, other children to play with. A lot of nice old people that were there, mostly. But nothing to make it a, what's called a sticky church, a church that you're going to want to stay. They came in and they exited. I came in, found a very welcoming church, and saw what was up front, but didn't see what was going on behind it. So I stayed, and I can understand why now. Um, I do like the people there, most of them, um, but it is definitely a dying church. It is a social club. And it took me this long to figure this out. I am on one of the boards, so I'm able to get an inside look at what's happening. But they voted to go ahead and advertise in the Gross Point newspaper. And I objected to it, and I said, why don't you spend the money on Facebook and things online to draw people in, Craigslist is free, all that. We had one person who was in charge to do that. He had um, an agenda to do what he wanted to do, which was for his personal sites and not what was you know, the best for the church, in my opinion. And he petered out real fast. I resign. <laughs> and so he not only resigned his positions, but he quit the church. Um, and then there was nobody left. So since there was nobody left, they decided not to go ahead and do anything and hopefully somebody would volunteer to go in and take over what the person who resigned did. It didn't happen. It hasn't happened. It might happen. But this has been well over a year. 
A dying church cannot afford to have no advertising whatsoever uh, that's current for over a year. It's the most retarded thing I've ever seen. Um, I wanted to do some. I did do some. It, it was prosperous, um, but I had no budget from the church at all to spend. So it had to be my own money. And, you know, that was fine. But with all the problems that I have going on physically, because I've been battling cancer and other problems, and finishing my doctorate degree, there was not a lot of money there to be spent on my end. So that was something that they went through and are going through. They're not relevant. Advertising in a newspaper draws old people. You have a lot of old people. You have no children. You have no young people. And the children that were from the parents that are there aren't staying. Why? Probably if you ask them, they'll tell you it's a nice social club, but nothing spiritually to attract them. So stay relevant. If the advertising pulls away from newspapers and goes to online, which it has, then change and do something about it. Get online. Find out how to go online. If you're not sure, go on YouTube, punch in searches in the description to see how do I do media advertising for free or a low budget. You can go on Craigslist. You can run community postings for free. Do every community every that they allow you to do, every city, every area, every everything, volunteers, classes, community, and put the ads in and keep them current. Every week go in there, make sure they're current, repost them, um, edit them so that they will come up all the time on Craigslist for free. Go on Facebook, po you know, build a church Facebook page, post on it regularly, advertise on it so that people see but post every event every time there's going to be Senate school or church go in a couple of days and put in they were looking forward to you know and post everything everything because you want it to pop up in front of people all the time build a YouTube channel have YouTube videos available so that people can see them you can schedule them so you can have your sermons come up and other things come up when you want them to if you're not good at recording your sermon take your phone push record and let it record your sermon and then upload it put a picture to it um, you can put a burning fireplace anything and then make a video put it up on YouTube there's videos on YouTube how to do it watch them learn do it post and you can put last week's video up to go ahead and broadcast 30 minutes after your sermon starts so people think that the sermon they're watching is this week and then you can use the one you're doing now for next week so it's always up no delays and you can keep your online ministry going also so if someone's sick can't make it had to work you can time in and put in the description how to donate to your church stay relevant don't become dusty and like a mummy and allow yourself to die off from laziness so this is what took place with ours this is what you need to stop and this is what you need to do to stay relevant continue your prayers and do the work necessary God bless and I hope this helps you turn your church around and stop these churches from closing their doors. Stay tuned and I'll give you even more insights of what has happened in the last few years in the church that I'm currently in that is dying because they refuse to do the work necessary.